to Ninja 3000 here again, and this morning, LEGO has revealed the largest set ever made. This is set number 10276, Coliseum. It has 9,036 pieces. It retails for $550 in the US, and it will be available starting on Black Friday, November 27th. So this set looks awesome because, I mean, I, I really love giant display pieces. I quite like the Creator Expert landmark buildings, like the Taj Mahal, like Big Ben, both of which I have. So I know that this set is going to be an awesome display piece, but I have to say it looks extremely, extremely boring and repetitive to build. I also don't love that price, $550. I feel like $50 increments are kind of weird. Once you get past $350, I really would have preferred this at $500 or lower, obviously, but, um, I mean, it does have 9,000 pieces. That's almost 1,500 more than the Millennium Falcon, which was the previous largest set. But I do think that the outside looks the most interesting because of the way that they managed to recreate those Roman columns, the Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian columns. I really love that building technique using, like, scroll bricks, and I think they use roller skates down here for the Ionic ones. So I do like some of these building techniques, but I think I really need to see this in person. It is like gigantic. Um, Brickset has the measurements down here. I will link to this um, press release in the description as well. But okay, so it's 10 and a half inches high, 20 and a half inches wide, and 23 and a half inches deep. So again, I really want to see this in person at a Lego store before I decide whether or not to buy it. Also, I made a separate video on that limited edition gift with purchase set, the Roman Chariot. That will be releasing only with purchases of the Colosseum over Black Friday weekend. For me, that's not enough to tempt me to buy it immediately. $550 is a lot of money. I haven't really saved for this in advance like I did with Hogwarts and Diagon Alley. So I think I might be holding off on this because, again, that chariot just doesn't impress me enough to try to buy it on day one. And like I said, I just really need to see it in person before I decide. So this picture is interesting to me. They show um, a lot of these pictures with like this cross section removed. So I'm not sure if you can actually do that or if, um, like if you can actually remove it easily or if that's just while building. But they did say that there's a removable like wooden interior, just like how they created like the wooden platform in the actual Coliseum. That's like the last part to be built and it can be removed. So I think that that's really interesting. But again, like, I feel like there's not enough shots of, like, the interior. I want to see more of what's going on down there. So, yeah, this is something that I'm going to have to wait on before I decide whether or not I buy it. I think I probably will eventually get it. I mean, it's the biggest LEGO set ever. Who knows how long it'll hold on to that title at the rate that LEGO releases big sets nowadays. But um, I think I will own it at some point. Hopefully I can find it on sale. That's what I'm hoping for. Or double VIP points. I'd settle for either of those. So let me know what you guys think about this. Again, I'll link to Brickset in the description so you can see all of these images. I do think, like I said, I do think it looks great on display. Um, but personally, I really just love the back more, except I never display it from the back. So I don't know. Maybe it would have been interesting if LEGO had like done a complete recreation of how it looks of how it would have looked in ancient Rome instead of doing the modern day ruin. I know that some people were talking about that. Um, so again, let me know what you guys think, if you'll be getting this or not. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my new website, goldeninja3000.com. Bye for now.